Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be drawing L from Death Note. It's upside down. Death Note. I'm going to be drawing this picture because it's easy to look off of. It's right here. I'm currently on volume 7. So yeah. Very good series. Taking my time with it though. It's actually like, it's hard to put down once you start it. I actually didn't think I'd like this anime manga. You know, whatever. You really can't judge it, though, because I thought he was the bad guy, but he's the good guy. So yeah, anyways, that's not the point. Real quick, I am going to be getting more active with my pages and stuff. I'm going to be posting to my Facebook page a lot more. I've been inactive because I current like, I didn't have a camera back then. I started asking people, my siblings, to borrow their phone, and it annoyed them so I didn't have a way, but I finally have a camera, but I'm using my phone right now because it, the batteries are dead, not the point. So I will be using this page now, so if you need to, you know, yeah. Twitter is right there, and my Instagram name is the same name as my channel. So yeah, I will be up to date with those things. Okay, I did start him already because I tried earlier, he's really hard. The angle kind of messed me up. But these are my guidelines, so if you need to copy that. It's pretty much a circle, but like more shaped. And his ear will be covered up, but I put it there anyways. And you know, I got some of the hair guidelines. The hair will be hard. Definitely need an eraser. Okay. But yeah. Okay. So if you need to do this pause it, or do your own way, I don't know, but I really needed to get that started. Okay, his thumb comes right here, where his mouth will be. I don't know what's up with that. To me, it looks like he's sucking his thumb, but he's not. I don't think. Maybe. I doubt it. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put a small line right here for the mouth. I'll edit that later. Can you see? His eyes are going to be right here. Start off with a very simple curved line. And then the bottom eyelid, which will be darkened because his eyes are dark for some reason. And then the pupil. Okay, the nose is right where this line is pretty much, but not completely. I just did that to get it started off basic shape. I'll darken this so you can see it better in just a minute. I'm going to make sure the eyes are the same shape. So it's about right here. And then the bottom right here. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Um, I'm going to probably start trying to do the hair, like the detail, to get it done with. Right here, it, it's two parts, like his bangs right here. So break that into two. And then comes the hard part. Um, this hair is really complicated. So I'm going to erase the ear. Get rid of that. Okay, right here it splits right here. And we're going to do this part. Oh. Right here. I'm going to do this part probably later. I just want to get this part started. See, as you can see, I've already messed up. I'm going to fix that. Okay, I'm going to finish the hand, or at least get the shape in. It's... Well, yeah, first I'm just going to 
make like a box or like a square something like that and his knees come up right here so I'm just going to draw a shape like that probably going to fix that edit it later okay now the fingers are the hardest part for people, even me but the first one we all know that the middle finger is usually longer than the rest, so and if you can't get it perfect, you know, it doesn't really matter unless it really bothers you You can always go in and fix it later. Okay, I'm gonna have to quick, um, quickly finish this hair at least because my um, storage might cut me off. Okay, so he's at a weird position, and all his hair is just this isn't this actually isn't even going to be perfect. So if you mess up. Don't feel bad, because look at that. Okay, I'm going to finish the, the details on the face, because that's the most important part. I'm probably going to have to do the body um, when I pause it, because I really don't want this camera to cut me off. Only thing I can tell you about his eyes is the... Obviously, everyone knows the bottom is more dark. Eyelid right here and right here. I don't see his eyebrows in this, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna get this little hair piece right there. Okay. Pretty much that is the face right here. I'm gonna shape the mouth a little bit more though. So that's pretty much the face, and I know I wasn't the best at explaining, but this camera probably is gonna... I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit of the body, and then do the rest, and come back and tell you. He's always, I think he's always wearing this shirt and these pants, because I, I don't think I've seen him in anything else. So. Okay, his arm comes across his knees. A lot of wrinkles right here. And I'm pretty much just sketching this in, so if you can't do this part, you don't have to worry. Lots of wrinkles. Okay, so right here is where we're at. And his hands come across. And I'm going to just make like a little ball for now and fill that in later. Okay. Right here is where it obviously is where it bends, you know. Okay, now the legs I might have to do like off camera, but I'll come back and try to give you some tips. So yeah. Okay, so I wanted to do the to do the feet at least. So if you I had to skip this part, do this part, you know. I would just try to do your best right here. Because I can't probably get it all in. But the feet for some people are really hard. Probably even me. Um they they don't look like hands, so I can't give that as a tip, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I don't really know how to... Like, I don't know what advice to give. Because I'm not even good at them myself. Let's see? I'm gonna darken that up. 
I'll probably fix it along the way, but still, that doesn't really look like a foot. Alright, this one's a little bit more scrunched up. His feet are really weird. No one's feet are pretty, but his are really crunched up. I don't know. I just noticed that. I'll probably also fix that along the way. But yeah, I'm going to do the rest and come back and try to tell you what I did. Okay, I at least wanted to show you the hair, like the coloring it in part. I hope it doesn't stop me in the middle of recording. But I really wanted to at least do this. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is just color it in black, but like try to get the highlight, the highlights in, where the, you know, the light is. So I'm going to like leave that part lighter than the rest. The rest is just going to be black, so I'm going to quickly fill that in. Okay, so I left this part white. I'm probably going to just like shade it in a little bit because that's where the um like the light source or whatever. I don't know the professional term. I'm just going to color that in a little bit. And that's pretty much it for the hair. You could probably do a lot much better way. I'm just using a pencil. But if you have a more creative way, then please do it because make it look cooler. Yeah, I'm going to shade in the pants and then I'll be back. Hopefully it'll be done. Okay, so that's the finished thing. Um, he's supposed to be upside down. Like, that's how it's originally. But if you, if you want, you can just turn it around. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah. I did some of the shading. I didn't do all of it. But I just wanted to make it look a little bit more, you know, I did his little symbol. Not the best because I didn't have anything to look off of. I just did it from memory. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This is another picture that I did of him. Has cat ears. But yeah, if it didn't really help you, I'm sorry. I was worried that the it would say insufficient storage. It always does that to me. But yeah. If it did help even a little bit, I'm glad, I guess. I don't know. But thank you. I'm going to try to be more active.